Good morning, beloveds. Um, I'm having one of those mornings where uh, I didn't feel good when I went to bed. My digestion is like all just, and so I didn't sleep well. And then my cat, I have a 17-year-old cat, who I think is, I, he, I know we're nearing the end, <laughs> who has taken to howling at, random times in the middle of the night and he did it four times last night he did it at midnight and i'd already been in bed for a little while he did it at 3 30 he did it probably at four and then he did it at five and so i the exact times i don't know uh and it's the, just it's so loud <laughs> and you're just like he's he's had this really quiet voice his entire life like as big as he got because at one point he was 21 pounds and as big as he was he just had this really quiet voice yeah, not anymore. <laughs> he apparently has a couple of things to say before, I don't know. Um, but we got up this morning, got dressed. I was like, we got to take sunglasses because we were going to the park with the, um, with the lake in it. And it can be really bright in that park once the sun comes up. And then we got outside and we realized it was misting. <laughs> and we went, oh, um, like, it was almost raining, and so we, we went ahead and went, went to the park, and it wasn't, it, the fog was really heavy, but it wasn't raining, and so we we did um, as much of the loop, because it's a two-mile loop, so we did, you know, one, basically three miles, so a loop and a half, and got the car to come home, or to, to go get our haircut, and so I'm now sitting in my car, because Tom's gone, to get, gone in, and it's raining, but, so if you hear that sound, that is rain on in my on the car all right it is january 8th uh the title is the changeless abides with me i am calm and peaceful in the midst of confusion our one our first quote is i am the lord i change not and that is from malachi uh three six the Tao, considered as unchanging has no name that is texts of Taoism. And the last is immovable is God alone and rightly alone for he himself is in himself and by himself and round himself completely full and perfect. And that is thrice greatest Hermes. We should realize that all the great scriptures have taught one identical message, the unity of good. All the sacred books have been inspired by the one mind. Each in its own tongue has told the story of reality. I am the Lord, I change not, was revealed by the Hebrew mystic. To the great Chinese sage came the same message. The Tao cannot change. It has no name. And to Hermes, God is in himself, by himself, full and perfect. We can add to this glorified conception the realization that this divine being is the breath of our, the breath, of our breath, the omnipresent, forever within us then we shall realize that we live in one eternal and perfect mind. An excerpt from the sacred books on the attributes of God says, There is no variableness in God since he is external, immortal, and infinite. Nevertheless, he is that from which every transformation arrives. This means that whilst while we live in the eternal, which does not change, we are forever drawing from it or from him. The possibility of the manifold expressions which give variety to existence and which makes living interesting. I know that the changeless abides with me. I am calm and peaceful in the midst of confusion. I know that nothing moves the soul. Peace, infinite peace is at the center of my being. I live, move, and have my being in that which is perfect, complete within itself. That self is myself. So we're back on the uh, we're back on the every sacred text. Every sacred text text is telling the same story. Every one of them. Uh, if you go the world over, they're all going to tell you the same story. And one of the things that I find the interesting. Um, is the text of uh, the quote from the texts of Taoism, of Taoism? The Tao is considered unchanging, has no name. 
because when we name something, when we label something, we limit something. And we can't, we can't limit God. We can limit our experience of God, but we cannot limit God. And so anytime we name God, then we limit our experience of God. So I, that's one of the reasons why when people get weird about names that other people, you know, that like, uh, the word God, they get weird about the word God because they have suffered spiritual abuse at the hands of a religion. Um, or, you know, people get weird about other names that other religions use, i.e. Allah in, um, Islam. It means the same thing. It means God. It translates as father, but it means God. <laughs> So, um, when we do that, we limit our experience of God. We can't limit God. I've already said that, you know that, but we can limit our experience of God or spirit or whatever, a divine mind, whatever word you want to use. And so it's, it is help. It is very helpful to be flexible about what you call God and to remember that anytime you label god you are limiting it which is what what which is one of the things that the hindus did and possibly do um because they recognize that there is one god but we are small and to to we cannot conceptualize the entirety of god um the entirety of brahma which is their word for god um, so what they did was they would name the aspect that they needed at the moment, which is why they have this infinite variety of gods and yet have one. It's possible that the Greek and Romans did the same thing. They recognized, okay, you know what? There's really one God, but we can't, we can't conceptualize that. It's too big. And so we're going to break it down into these little pieces. And eventually it ended up being, you know, well, you've looked at the Roman and the Greek pantheons. Um, so, I don't know. I love talking about religion and mythology and different cultures. I love world religion for that reason. Because everybody has a piece of the truth. Everybody has a piece of the truth. But nobody can see the whole picture. So, the changeless abides with me. I am calm and peaceful in the midst of confusion. Because at the center of us is something that doesn't change. Uh, he's going to talk about the quote, so I'm just going to quickly read back through him. I am the Lord, I change not, from Malachi 3.6. The Tao considered as unchanging has no name, the texts of Taoism. And immovable is God alone, and rightly alone, for he himself is in himself, and by himself, and round himself, completely full and perfect. Remember, perfect means whole. Okay, so that's the thrice greatest Hermes. We should realize that all the great scriptures have taught one identical message. Ernest says it, and, and, and I believed that. One message, the unity of good. All of the sacred books have been inspired by the one mind. And that's one of the things that, you know, that's what I loved. That's what I love about Science of Mind is, you know, Ernest recognized, hey, everybody's telling the same story. Um, and it's because we've all been inspired by the same mind, the same divine mind. Each in its own tongue has told the story of reality. And that's what mythology is. Mythology is humanity struggling with the way the world works. And that really is what religion is. It's us telling stories about how the world works. Um, so I am the Lord. I change not was revealed by the Hebrew mystic Malachi to the Chinese, to the great Chinese state sage, the same message, the Tao, the Tao cannot change. It has no name. And to Hermes, God in is in himself, by himself, full and perfect. And again, perfect means whole. Uh, if we can add to this glorified conception, the realization that this divine being is the breath of our breath, omnipresent, forever within us, then we shall realize that we live in, in one eternal and perfect mind. We're all using the same mind. We may be using it 
with different languages and different ideas and different from, you know, we're coming from different points of view. But in the end, we're all using the same mind. An excerpt from the sacred books on the attributes of God says, and again, here's an open quote. There is no variableness in God since he is eternal, immortal, and infinite. Nevertheless, he is that from which every transformation arises. Close quote. So, God doesn't change. But we do. We do. And as he says at the end of this paragraph, it's what makes life interesting. So, when the world is nuts around us, then we go to the one thing that doesn't change. We go to God. <clears throat> This means that while we live in the eternal, which does not change, we are forever drawing from it the possibility of the manifold expressions which give variety to existence and which make life interesting. Change happens in the material because things are constantly coming out of idea into form and then breaking from, from form going back to idea. Form is what changes. Idea does not. The mind does not. And so while we are here, we are constantly changing. And then we go back. And we go back to the, to the core of who we are, the core of what we are, the seed of what we are. And then we don't know. We don't know. So, his uh, little paragraph. I don't know if you, this you can see it. He's he's got the 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 title of the three quotes. Then his let's talk about this. And then he has his what I like to call his power statements. So, I know that the changeless abides with me. I am calm and peaceful in the midst of confusion. I know that nothing moves the soul. We don't own the soul. The soul. The soul is what we are. It's not, yeah, the soul is what we are. Nothing moves the soul. Nothing can change the soul. Peace, infinite peace is at the center of my being because at the center of, the be of my being is the divine mind. The center of our being is the divine mind. I live and move and have my being in that which is perfect, complete within itself. It's a, it's a, it's a whole system. It's a closed system. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing beyond it. There's nothing outside of it. We live within a whole system. That self is myself. That self is our self. So the mission today, I don't know. He doesn't, this, this January doesn't lean, lend itself to missions. Um, so I would suggest that the mission today is to be calm and peaceful. To, to be calm and peaceful and consider that we all use different languages, but we're all getting the same idea because we're all using the same mind. So, um... You may not be among, among, uh, amidst, in the midst of confusion. You may have, you know, a quiet day. So, be calm and peaceful. That's the mission, should we choose to accept it. To know who we are. To know what mind we use. And to allow that peace and calm from that infinite mind. To seep into the messy material form that we are. Okay. I also suggest you do something loving for yourself. Do something kind for yourself. Do something compassionate for yourself. Whatever that looks like. Today, that looked like getting up, go walking out, looking at the weather and saying, I'm going to go anyway. Uh, I definitely feel better when I exercise. Uh, I, it, it just, it helps me not be grumpy. 
it helps me not be grumpy. Uh, weather like we're having today can really affect my mood. And so getting out and exercising uh, really goes a long way to, 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 to support in that that change. So um, it is a spiritual practice to do that loving, kind, and compassionate thing for yourself, whatever it looks like. It is. Um, so please do that. Please create that habit and please recognize it for what it is. If it is taking three deep breaths, if, if it's going for a walk, if it is drinking a cup of coffee or tea or beverage of your choice um, and really savoring it, you know, I'm not talking about slamming a cup of coffee. I'm talking about like smelling it and holding it and feeling the warmth in your hands and, and really tasting it, feeling the warmth as it slides down your throat and feeling and tasting all of the flavors that are there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm not talking about slamming a cup of coffee. That, uh, that's not the same thing. Um, it is a practice and it helps you connect with who you are to connect with the root of you. Um, so I do encourage you to engage your mind and your body, even in weather like this. <laughs> I encourage you to get a face full of sun if that's possible, which today, yeah. Um, but bright light early in the morning, it helps. It helps to reset your hormones. Um, can help you sleep better at night, have more energy during the day, and drink plenty of water. You know me, big believer. I actually have two of these in my car today. Uh, just in case I drink all of that when I have a refill. <laughs> um, hydration is super important. And... Open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right here, right now. It's all around us. I mean, it's it's dark and it's gloomy, but the fog was beautiful. It was like being in another world today. And yes, it was damp, but it smelled like wet, rich earth that's getting ready for planting. I don't know. It was amazing. And it's breaths of heaven like that that remind me that whatever else is going on around me, heaven's an attitude. Heaven is a state of mind. Heaven is a state of consciousness. And it's up to me to nurture it. So, remember who you are. Remember that you are a beloved child of God in whom God is well pleased. Always and forever. Okay, uh, I'm going to move into the process of my day, which means I'm going to go get this shaggy mess uh, cleaned up a little bit and um, then go and get my house ready for somebody to pet sit a little bit. And yeah, and I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Definitely going to take a nap. All right, beloveds, have a great day, an amazing day, a wonderful day. Uh, go dance in the rain day or stay dry day, uh, stay warm, let it be magical, have a good day, and if that is too much pressure, simply have a day, you are enough just as you are, all right, beloveds, um, Reverend David should be on with you around 5 p.m., I'll be back with you at 9 a.m., we will have an amazing service for you, uh, and then if you are, um, if you remember Janet Carmen, her memorial is tomorrow. It'll be at 1.30 at the, at the center. So, um, and there's a Zoom link. So if you cannot be there in person, you feel free to email info at creativelife.org uh, and ask for that Zoom link for Janet Carmen. It will not be recorded and it will not be broadcast live, but it will be on Zoom. So take care of yourself. Know that you're loved. And I will see you next time.